So let's start with, um, let's, I mean, let's talk a little bit about, I mean, I guess we could start with the Honey Blonde Ale and, yeah, and kind of sure. go from there and talk a little bit about like why said, that's part of your lineup. That's, or, uh, you know, one of our most popular beers. It's sort of, you know, I don't want to call it an introductory beer because it, uh, it's still a good beer in its own right. Uh, but one thing we do a very good job of is having a very diverse portfolio so that we have something within our portfolio for everybody. Uh, so when somebody says, you know, I don't really like craft beer, I say, well, you, just, you haven't found the craft beer you like because there's something out there for everybody. So this is a nice blonde, straw-colored beer, the color of beer that people tend to be more used to, right, that are new to craft beer at least. Uh, we do use hockey honey, which is uh, made in Marshfield, so locally sourced honey product. It's got a very gentle sweetness, nice, nice even malted flavor profile, not bitter, not hoppy. This is great hot weather, hot weather beer, Wonderful huh? hot weather beer, yes. <laughs> Cheers. Another thing I think people a lot of times get confused by, they'll see a dark beer and they think this is the beer to be scared of, but I, what I found and what I like, I really like dark beer. Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about the, well, the, yeah. the porter, your Mud Puppy Porter and... Yeah, yeah, so, you know, with um, dark beers, people sort of associate that. People who are new to craft and associate dark beers with just, you know, thick or viscous, staying a spoon up in it, not, not that sort of thing. It's not the case at all. So, we always tell people to not be afraid of the dark when they're new Because they'll find, you know, there's a reason that Mud Puppy Porter is one of our best-selling beers. Because it's appealable to such a wide range of range of folks. So yeah, it's five percent alcohol, five and a half percent alcohol, so it's not it's not super strong. It's got a nice dark color, tan head, flavor profile of a beer like this. Um, thinking chocolate, slightly roasty. Um, that's the sort of flavor profile we have. Again, not bitter, not overwhelming, it doesn't coat your palate. It's just a good easy drinking dark beer. Yep. And these are really good with um, desserts, especially if you Absolutely. want some ice cream. I mean, that's Absolutely. up. Absolutely. <clears throat> Grilled foods, yeah. um, ice cream, you mentioned brownies, anything chocolate related. Yeah. It's a wonderful beer yeah. to go with it. The IPA, it got it. I mean, that IPA is, is the most popular beer in the craft industry right now. Um, it was about two or three years ago that they overtook the category. And now, I mean, when we started producing beer in 1998, back then it was, you have to have a pale ale. You know, you can't be able to a pale ale. We don't even have a year on pale ale anymore. You know, now it's IPA. You almost need to have an IPA. There's been some new startups that are veering away from that and doing you know different stuff. But interesting for us with the Glacial Trail, our first India Pale Ale was an English style India Pale Ale. There's two different types. There's an American and an English. English India Pale Ales are the original style. They're malty and bitter. And then you had you know we've been around long enough to see this growth curve. We have the advent of the American hot profile, uh, the more floral, citrus, you know, tropical fruit flavors. Now that became the standard for an American India Pale Ale. Well, our year-round India Pale Ale was an English style. We couldn't get the hops for it anymore, so we had to switch to an American style. So when we built Glacial Trail, it's almost, I don't want to use the word hybrid, but it's a well-balanced India Pale Ale. It's not, it's not going to have that super strong tropical floral, Aroma, it's going to be malty with an American hot presence and nicely well balanced. It's got a nice, beautiful copper copper color to it, which is ubiquitous of an IPA. White head. It's got a bit of a hop aroma, but nothing mm -hmm. overpowering. Well, I got to say, for an IPA, that might be one of those someone new could pick up and not be because you can well balanced you can mistake pale ale and think oh it's light and then get it and it's just yeah um it can really be overpowering There's, if you don't like that and really scare people right. off but this one this one's a little bit more it's great every single beer is a balance of bitterness and sweetness and when you hit that balance right it creates drinkability and i think this has got enough body to balance out the mass amount of hops you put in it, it creates drinkability and this is a little bit stronger too so mm -hmm. this one you're looking at six and a half to seven percent so it's a little bit stronger.